What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Saturday and that means it's time for another episode of What's New for Blue where I inform you of what brand new physical media titles you can expect to see in your local store and also online. So this coming Tuesday, when you hit Best Buy, you might want to consider bringing a backup credit card because there is a slew of brand new releases coming our way on Tuesday. There's a lot of brand new horror titles and also another Lionsgate 4K Steelbook. So let's get the list started with Return of the Living Dead on 4K and also Tropic Thunder on 4K. Now, honestly, I'm interested in picking up both of these titles. Return of the Living Dead, I've never seen before, but I do want to pick it up because I have been collecting for the most part, the Scream Factory 4Ks with the nice slip cover. So that is one I would like to add in. And then Tropic Thunder is a movie I've never seen before, but I've heard great things about it. And it's got Robert Downey Jr. And you know how I feel about Robert Downey Jr. I love him. And he was nominated for an Oscar for this role, I believe. So I do want to add that one in. Next up for the new releases is Bullet Train with Brad Pitt. This one just made it over $100 million at the box office. I went and saw it in theater. It didn't blow my mind, but I know it's definitely one I do want to add into my collection. Now, it is coming out with 4K slip cover. Very nice 4K slip. Also, a really nice 4K steel book and also on Blu-ray. As of right now, this one's a question mark. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do, depending on what is in store and what is not. If there's not a lot of things that I do want, then I might pick up Bullet Train. But if there is everything under the sun that I'm looking for, I might sacrifice bullet train and put it off and probably pick it up the following week because I think the last Tuesday of this month isn't as stacked with brand new must have releases. So bullet train is one that I could probably wait on. So it is a question mark, but maybe for next Tuesday and not this coming Tuesday. All right, next up the ring. Blu-ray steelbook. Unfortunately, it's not 4K and Orphan First Kill on Blu-ray. Now, I do want to pick up both of these. I streamed Orphan First Kill on Paramount+. Plus. I'd never seen any of the Orphan movies, so I did a double feature one night with both. Highly enjoyed both of them. I think Orphan First Kill is a great prequel to Orphan, the way that they did the practical effects and everything, I just thought was brilliant. And they did a great job with this. And I like this slipcover. So I definitely want to pick that one up. And then the Ring Steelbook, as I mentioned, unfortunately, it is not a 4K Steelbook. It is a Blu-ray. This might be one of those situations where if it sells pretty well, a couple of months from now, we're going to get the 4K announcement. So I do want to pick up the Ring. I have seen it, but it's been so long since I've seen it. So I would like to pick it up. And it's a pretty cool looking steelbook, I do got to say. And I do believe it's a reasonable price. It's definitely not $34.99. I want to say high teens, low 20s. So that's not too bad. Okay, next up, we have Bodies, Bodies, Bodies coming to 4K and also Blu-ray. Why we need a 4K of this one? I have no idea. And Two Witches from Arrow. So Two Witches from Arrow, I'm not sure, but we are having the Arrow Shocktober sale right now. I'm not sure if this new product is going to be a part of that. Probably not because it's a brand new release, but you never know. You could go over and see for yourself. I'm good right now. This is not a title I need to pick up right away, maybe someday in the future, but not right now. And as far as bodies, bodies, bodies go, 4K? Not picking up a 4K. This is one I could probably wait on for a week or two and focus on the other new releases that I really want to pick up. And like with Bullet Train, I'll possibly pick up most likely the Blu-ray the following week. But just to let you guys know, there's a lot of horror stuff coming out this coming Tuesday. All right, now we are getting into the 40th anniversary of E.T. This is a big deal. E.T. has been a beloved movie for an extremely long time. It's coming out on 4K, I believe on Blu-ray as well, but also a steelbook. 
another ET steel book, but I but I believe the steel book is exclusive at Target only. I could be wrong, but I believe that is the case. So I will be venturing out to Target to see if it will be available this coming week, but I could be wrong about that. But actually with ET, I will not be picking up any 40th anniversary. If anything, possibly the steel book, possibly. Not 100% because I already have like three copies of ET. I have regular Blu-ray, I have a steel book, and I have a 4K. So I'm pretty much covered with ET, but do I get the 40th anniversary steel book? I don't know. Let me know down below in the comments. What should I do? Help me. All right, moving on to Fall on Blu-ray and also Mac and Rita on Blu-ray. So Mac and Rita, I already have in my collection. Thank you to Lionsgate for sending that my way. I did my quick little review about this movie. So if you're interested in finding a little bit more about the film before possibly picking it up, always check my review and hear my thoughts about that one. Fall on Blu-ray. I wanted to see this one in the theater, but it was just a movie I never got to go and see. It wasn't in my theater for very long, but I'm not sure if this is one I want to pick up right away because depending on price point and depending on what is available in the store on Tuesday, I may pick it up or I may not. It's definitely one I do want to pick up though. So I'm going to keep my eye on it, price point, you know, all these different factors, and we'll see what Susan ends up doing this coming week. All right, moving on, Easter Sunday on Blu-ray and also Pause of Fury the Legend of Hank on Blu-ray. Now, if I want to watch Pause of Fury, I don't really collect animation, but if I ever wanted to watch it, I believe it is available on Paramount Plus right now, so I could always stream that one. And then Easter Sunday, I'm just not interested. I know it was in theaters. It was one of those, if you blinked, you missed it, and it was gone, but I'm I'm not going for that one. So I'll leave that for anyone else that's a major fan of, I believe his name is Joe Coy. So <laughs> I'm not jonesing for Easter Sunday. Moving on to, this is the new 4K Lionsgate Steelbook. It is Punisher Warzone. Again, look at this artwork. Lionsgate knows exactly what they're doing at a terrific price point. I'm probably going to pick it up. I haven't even watched the first Punisher, but who cares? This artwork <laughs> looks insane and it just looks fantastic and it needs to be in my collection. It needs to be in all of our collections. So go ahead and pick it up. Then we have Batman and Superman Battle of the Super Sons coming to 4K and Blu-ray and also The Flash Season 8 on Blu-ray as well. I'm not a fan of like collecting the animated shows or animation or TV shows in general. So I am bypassing these ones this week, saving a little bit of money, putting it towards something else. But you know, I love DC, so I'm going to mention it. Legends of Tomorrow complete series on Blu-ray and also The Thing About Pam on Blu-ray. Now, The Thing About Pam, I believe it was just a regular run on NBC, like going old school. I remember little like mini series like that on NBC all the time. And I believe that's what this is. It's starring Renee Zellweger, I believe based on true events. So that's kind of interesting. And then Legends of Tomorrow, I have no interest in whatsoever. So I will be bypassing on that title as well. Then there is Evil Season 1 and 2 on Blu-ray. I know I could stream this show if I'm interested. I believe it's on Paramount Plus, but if you guys are hardcore collectors of TV shows, then Evil Season 1 and 2 is coming out this week. Then we have, of course, our Criterions. Our Criterions of the Week are Cure on Blu-ray and also La Llorona on Blu-ray. I know a lot of people were excited about these titles when they were announced, so this coming Tuesday. They will be available at your local Barnes & Noble and also online. So now we are getting into those titles that you're probably going to find at Walmart on DVD or pick up online. And those are Kingslayer, Station Eleven, and The Possessed. There's also Becky, The Deer King, and Rumble. There's The Innocence, 
Nightmare Man, and Moonchild. Then we have No Escape, American Movie, and The Razor's Edge. Finally ending with Happy Birthday to Me, Island of the Blue Dolphins, and The Werewolf of Washington. So those are the brand new releases that will be available this coming Tuesday. So let me know down below what do you plan on targeting. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you next time.